Not too good at this horse riding, am I? Easy. Yep. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Run past that swampy bit. But we should be okay. Hopefully, no more alligators. Easy, boy. Something's gone down here. I think they'll be in that house, it's just... <coughs> Night time. Good problem. Under wheat. What? I need to start eating more food. I need more food, Dex. Oh, it's gone smaller, I think. They're gone smaller. Hey, you better have a damn good. 
good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Hmm. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Huh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? A knife. Under the sink? Best place for them. Hmm. Now where's them drinks, boy? The drinks ready. It's right there, mister. Ah! I cut your damn head! Clean off! Ah. Take up my hat, thank you very much. I'll take your biscuits. I think he's been doing this for quite a while. Open pistol cards. <clears throat> Paul, what you done? What you done? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. 
You should be proud of yourself. Well, your dad's dead. Okay, fella. Right. What's that one? We'll leave that just now. We'll go and see Dutch. Enough side missions for just right. Get in position. Now, open up with that max. Jesus Christ. I really didn't expect me to die so quickly. said fully restores health. Obviously I never read it properly. Right. Morning. Seven AM. Morning, sir. I'm a lot of French. No. Sir, 
there you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European with clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, this boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Uh, just calm John down. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Yeah. <coughs> Run along <coughs> now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Well, I've got my knife, my pistols, shotgun, and my rifle on me. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Uh, salute. Let's 
school, boy. And I am actually going to have to end the stream here as I need to go and cook dinner. Oh, I can't see it. Shit. Oh well. I will. Hopefully I'll continue where I left off, but we'll see. Well, hopefully. 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 Stop saying fucking hopefully. We will see you later. Goodbye for now.